Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato, and this is going to be another video on making custom dimensions. Okay, so we are using the Simple Dimensions plugin for Minecraft, and we have made single biome dimensions. That's what these are. This is a plains and a forest and a desert and a jungle and an ice mountains. Now I'm going to show you how to make custom ones with maps, custom maps, which is really, really cool. So let's, for instance, go and look at this. This is going to be the end result of what we do. This is a city map. This is not the Lost Cities. This is a city map that we have downloaded. So uh, let's look at that. Basically, it is the modern city from Planet Minecraft. And here's the link, and I'll put the link in the description to it. But it's a modern city map that is available free for download. And we are just going to create a custom dimension from it. So I've already done it here, but I'll show you the whole process of how to do it. All right. So get back to full screen. All right. So what you want to do is using the simple dimensions mod for Minecraft, you can say simple dimensions in your chat. To type the command simple dimensions okay create there you go and it's going to give you a list you know give you a, a world creation screen so let's just put in modern city three we fine and you have all these other choices like you would in your normal world creation screen we'll just leave default world type default is fine so we'll create the new dimension and now we have it at 30,007. We can do simple dimensions list. You see a list of all of our dimensions. So I have all those and we're interested in Modern City 3. All right. So what you want to do now is you want to go out to your world save folder. Okay. So that is this for my, for this particular instance. And then the world save is in the saves folder so open that this one's called biome gateways and here is a list of your dimensions for that save we want dimension 30,007 okay now from the world city that we've downloaded we want to extract that file and you're going to end up with a folder called pmc it'll be different for every type of map that you get and you want to type you want to copy the data and the region folder that's all just select the data folder and the region folder and copy those over to your clipboard or whatever and paste them replacing the other folders that's there you, you don't have to restart the game or anything you could just do this all right so now we go back to our game and uh, we need to be aware of what our coordinates are in this world I, i'm in a obviously a void world uh, here, but if I use the special command that's added by simple dimensions, that is its teleport command, but it's for teleport dimensions and it's TPD is the command, then I would teleport to 3009. Okay, that's the dimension that we're going to. Um, oh, it's, I don't know where I got nine from. It's seven. Repeat these seven. Okay, so we end up in the air and we end up in a swamp. All right, and it'll be different according to this default world that you've created. But now we need to teleport to the city location. All right, so you could have either loaded the city in another map, which you want to do to test it, and make sure it works good on your computer and works good in your version of Minecraft. Or you could go to something like MBT Explorer, all right? And I'll have some other videos in the future about this software probably. And get the the level dat open and get the spawns there, the spawn point. So spawn X is negative 10,305 and spawn Z is 6779. So negative 10,305. So we want to teleport in this dimension. So not TPD, but teleport in this dimension. Negative 10,305. I'll just say 100. 
And I believe it was 6779, but I'll check that again real quick. 6779. Yeah, that'll be fine. And so let's teleport over to there. Okay, so now we're in the city. And it actually spawns you near the water, which is interesting. Um, go full screen again. So yeah, this is the city map that we've added. Very cool. So you can go through and check it out and, you know, have an adventure here in this city, however you want to do it. And now we just need to create a portal back to our platform. So we could travel back and forth. So let me just find a quick suitable location. Uh, down here probably looks fine. Yeah, let's just say uh, right here in the park on the ocean. Okay. And each portal needs to be a little different. So let's get, um, let's say yellow concrete will be fine. Doesn't really matter as long as the blocks are the same. Uh, so we'll create there. Um, yeah, I don't want to do it on slabs. Let's do it in the road. That's it's going to come along and get us. There we go. And then we use these portal frames. This is from the simple portal mod that does this. Again, a link will be in the description. So I'm just, you can build them in several ways, but I'm just going to do it like the nether portal way of doing it. But you need four blocks along the frame. These are the key blocks. Each one of these blocks in this pattern determines the address of this portal. Then you have this thing called the portal activator. You just, oops, that uh, picked it up. You just right click on it inside the frame and it'll open the portal. Okay, but this portal doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't have another portal on the other side linking to it. So we need to teleport back, TPD, back to zero. Now keep in mind, I'm going to be way away from my platform and I'm floating in the void. So you'll have want to have marked the location of your platform so you could teleport back to it. And here we are on that. So we just need to make this corresponding portal with these key blocks and then the portal frames as such. Okay. Here and here. And then light it with that portal activator tool. And now it'll work. It'll take us back to our city in that map and just make a mark to this portal here. And you can easily travel back and forth to it. Guys, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome to make your own custom dimensions. But more importantly, have your own custom structures inside of it. That is incredibly awesome, guys. Uh, please leave a like on this video because you've got to like that. That is really, really cool. Anyway, this is Scott O'Model. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.